Boys and girls, are you ready for some limited edition Canadian chocolate goodies? I am. Let's dig in. That's right, we are back with another video. I was up in Canada recently and doing my goodie hunting for all sorts of treats and discovered quite a few limited edition chocolate bars right now up there that uh, piqued my interest from Kit Kat, Smarties, Aero Bar, and Coffee Crisp. So I had to pick them up, give them a try, doing a video. Um, they look delicious, so uh, let's do this. And also, I'm going to score all of these chocolates on a scale of one to five maple leaves. Five being amazing, one being subpar. So, without further ado, let's do this. All right, first up, we're going to do Nestle's Smarties Strawberry Limited Edition flavor. Now, the Smarties brand is the brand that really confuses Americans the most because we don't have these in the United States, but we do have Smarties. And our Smarties are a candy, uh, sugary candy, no chocolate, little small you know, almost button-shaped little candies that come in a roll. Um, but in Canada, their Smarties are more similar to M&M's. They're candy-coated chocolates. They do have M&M's in Canada, and I think they're far superior to these. Something about the candy coating in Smarties, just, it's kind of gross. Um, but I'm going to give the strawberry flavor a try, and we'll see what they're all about. All right, here they are. Strawberry Smarties. Not bad. Um, once again, the candy shell and Smarties are just too thick. I think it detracts from the chocolate. Interesting with these, I thought these were going to be a white chocolate base. And it's not, it's a milk chocolate with strawberry flavoring, which I do uh, appreciate. But because of that, I don't think the strawberry is strong enough to kind of break through between the coating and the chocolate itself. Um, I think it could have been a little bit stronger strawberry flavor, but they're very pleasant. Um, but they're not blowing me away. For the strawberry Smarties, I'm gonna give them two out of five maple leaves. There, eh. All right, we're gonna stick with the strawberry chocolate theme, Aero Bar, limited edition chocolate scoop variety. I love Aero Bars, they're a delicious Canadian and UK treat. Not available in the United States, although they did sell Aero Bars for a brief time in the 1980s after uh, Nestle's acquired the brand. They did bring them to the United States to try them for several years, and it did not do well, so they discontinued them here, sadly. But these days, you can find Aero Bars at specialty markets, as well as Publix and Wegmans stores, which do imp import them. But for me, I just go up across the border because I live so close. And when I saw the strawberry scoop, I'm like, all right, I got, I love their mint one. They've had a lot of yummy ones. So let's try the strawberry scoop. Broke it open. Look at that. Oh, so light and fluffy. It smells so good. Oh, it's really, it smells awesome. Mmm. Oh man, these are dangerous. Unlike the Smarties, the, the strawberry inside of this milk chocolate holds its own with the out, outside. Mmm. This is a really, really nice blend of strawberry and milk chocolate together. Yeah, these are good. These are worth ordering and shipping to you. I'll tell you that right now. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, overall, I'm going to give these four out of five maple leaves. Damn good. Next up, we're going to do Coffee Crisp Caramel Iced Cappuccino flavor. Now, I'm not a huge coffee guy myself, so Coffee Crisp has never been a huge driver for me, but some people just love them. They're another brand that you just cannot get in the United States unless they're imported in. Um, so, uh, yeah, the Caramel Cappuccino is a very fancy Coffee Crisp flavor, so I'm intrigued to see what this is all about, so let's do it. The smell, first off, you get the smell of coffee. It's very strong, but you get a real cappuccino smell to these, which is really interesting. You really, you smell this, it transports you to, like, a coffee shop. It's really wild. Like, I feel like I'm walking in to a coffee shop for a poetry reading in 1997. That's all I gotta say. Like... 
It's taking me back. It really is. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. I mean, obviously, the base coffee flavor is what hits first. But there is a nice caramel back end taste to it, which I really appreciate, even as someone who's not a huge coffee person. Huh. This is very pleasant. I think someone who likes coffee crisp especially would really adore these as a nice little change up. Uh, I'm gonna give it three out of three out of five maple leaves. Maybe even three and a half. I think this is borderline between three and four maple leaves. Uh, it's strong enough, for sure. I think the caramel could be a little bit stronger, but it's a good balance, so not too bad at all. Uh, to end the video, we've got two limited edition Kit Kat flavors. Now, Kit Kat is one of those brands that is manufactured by Nestle's everywhere in the world except the United States, because in the United States, Hershey's um, manufactures the Kit Kat brand. They have since 1970 when they made an agreement with the original owner of Kit Kat. And then when they got bought by Nestle's, Nestle's had to honor that agreement. So that's kind of where we're at now. And uh, so we're going to dig into these two. They're both part of the chunky line of Kit Kat bars that Nestle's has been putting out over the last couple of years. And uh, I'm, in, I'm really looking forward to digging into these. There's some really unique ones. First up, we have the Kit Kat Chunky Drumsticks version. Now, this actually, I think, might have come out last year as well up in Canada. I could not find them, but then they popped up in the store when I was there a few weeks ago. Drumstick brand that uh, also is from Nestle's. The ice cream cone looks amazing. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Chunky drumstick Kit Kats. Does it taste like I'm eating a drumstick ice cream cone? Hmm. Not bad. Not not bad at all. I'm definitely getting the cone. You could probably use some peanuts. I don't know if there's any of those in here. Hmm. It's really good. I'm not sure if I really get the drumstick ice cream cone though, just off the top just blindly, without knowing. But it's good. Three and a half maple leaves again. I mean, it's right on the cusp of four. But just, just something's holding it back. But it's damn good. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to eat this whole fucking thing. Let's just be honest. But it's good. Last up today, um, here's the one I'm most excited to try. is another Kit Kat Chunky, only with Rolo. I love Rolos. To see Kit Kat and Rolo together is fucking awesome. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is all about. All right, chunky Kit Kat with Rolo. The key here is that caramel or caramel. Hmm. My cat wants some, I think. Hmm. All right, so I was just eating a little bit more. I kind of collect my thoughts. It needs more caramel. That's the big issue here. It needs more. There's some in there, but it needs more. And that's what it would have taken it to five maple leaves, but it didn't get there. I am giving it four maple leaves. It's freaking amazing. But a little more of that caramel, and this would have been hands down amazing. But still delicious, and you should still eat it if you can. So there you have it. That's five Canadian limited edition chocolate bars and candy that you should buy if you are up north. So we thank you, Canada, for making such unique flavors for us to try. If you can get these and order them, I would say, like I said, everyone except the Smarties, I would actually consider like actually ordering on eBay or something if you can. Uh, but if you're up in Canada, definitely pick them up. The Aero Bars and the Rolo Kit Kats, top echelon. And then they kind of filter down from there with the Smarties, of course, bringing up the rear as normal. Sorry, Smarties. Um, but they're delicious. Highly recommend them. Uh, if you've tried them, uh, leave in the comments what your favorite is or if there's other limited edition flavors right there out on shelves in Canada that I should find. 
in the candy bar world, let me know and I'll make a video. So until next time, we'll see ya.